we'll talk about cloud data management for SOLIDWORKS users. So whether you are a single user who is creating files, renaming, or organizing SOLIDWORKS files, or perhaps you're part of a larger team that you want to work on projects concurrently, we're actually going to see examples of how the 3D Experience platform can actually help you with both of those areas. Now we know that some level of data management is fundamental for successful CAD design. This is due to the fact that SOLIDWORKS parts, assemblies, drawings, and even other supporting documents are all linked in the background through file references. Consumer cloud storage apps such as Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive, they are simply not created in order to handle the references of CAD files and SOLIDWORKS files. In fact, any Windows file system is going to actually prevent users from working concurrently, and you run a high risk of breaking a lot of these file references or having duplicate file names. If you've ever manually renamed, moved, or created duplicate SOLIDWORKS files in many locations, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And while on-premise solutions such as PDM, they use SQL database servers to solve a lot of these problems. It also relies heavily on network speeds, infrastructure, and can potentially involve IT as well. So this is where the 3D Experience platform can actually come into play. This is a cloud solution specifically designed to manage SOLIDWORKS files, including all of their references, by connecting into the 3D Experience platform. So what we're going to do is walk through the process of two SOLIDWORKS users. We have Eric and Debbie. They are both part of a design team for an underwater submersible called the Nemo. What they're gonna be working on is a new hatch design for that submersible. And we're going to actually see how they can safely store their data, manage changes, and work concurrently. And they can actually do all of this without leaving their SOLIDWORKS environment. So let's start with Eric. He is putting the finishing touches on the latch mount assembly by inserting fasteners from the SOLIDWORKS toolbox. So the 3D Experience platform does fully support existing toolbox workflows without the need to share common drives or change system options. Once completed and documented, we can quickly check the assembly drawing and we're ready to save things to the cloud. First, Eric is going to log into his platform where he can access each 3D Experience tool directly through the SOLIDWORKS task pane. The My Session app is going to open and show the status of all the files that are currently in work. What we're going to notice is that the orange floppy disk icon is going to show which components are brand new, and the green checks are going to indicate which components have already been saved to the cloud. Now, as for the toolbox hardware, SOLIDWORKS is configured to automatically catalog and release these items to Rev A. So all users can access the shared library locations. They can control the use and who can edit these specific components. Once cataloged and released to Rev A, this information is ready to be saved to the platform. The save dialog shows which items require an update. At this point, it's also convenient to load items into bookmarks, which will give us a file structure for navigation later on. We can save new and changed items only and upload them to the cloud. This makes efficient use of internet bandwidth and still ensures all files are going to be up to date. Now, as the leader of his team, Eric has the unique ability to change the maturity state of project files. He can even release his own designs as a leader. While complex approval workflows could be used, the 3D Experience platform uses easy lifecycle operations to help avoid accidental overwrites and keep things moving quickly. Switching to his bookmarks tab, Eric can update the maturity state of these drawing files. 
this update sets the related part and assembly drawings to be released. It's just two drawings for now, but as the detailing work continues, the bookmark will keep everything organized, even supporting documents such as PDF instructions or even a SOLIDWORKS composer file. Most document types can actually be previewed interactively within the SOLIDWORKS task pane. This is a great function as there's no need to open this in an external application. We can simply view it directly in the SOLIDWORKS interface. Now, Eric also has a backlog of finished designs that he would also want to be uploaded to his cloud space. This is similar to a starting point with the 3D Experience platform. So the upload process can be automated with this batch save tool. He selects his local design folders, assigns them to the cloud space, and SOLIDWORKS takes care of the rest. So from now on, Eric can access his files from the 3D experience and not directly from Windows Explorer. Not only is the data safe and secure, it is available to both Eric and Debbie from any location with an internet connection. Safe and secure cloud storage on, the, on your SOLIDWORKS data is easy when connected to the 3D Experience platform. Now through quick start training and even possible implementation services, MLC CAD systems can have your entire team up and running in just a single day. So let's take a look at the second member of the NEMO team. We're going to see how Debbie takes advantage of cloud data management to handle a design change. She's going to create a new revision to the latch hand wheel. As soon as Debbie logs into the platform, she sees a message from Eric requesting a design change. Now, a quick keyword search allows her to search her entire platform for the correct file. Once located, she can also access all of the property data and comments, and it actually looks like Eric wanted a more racing-inspired wheel. From here, she can also make use of 3D annotation tools. This actually allows her to sketch right on the model preview to get ideas for changes directly into the model that she can share with other people on her team and then also open directly in SOLIDWORKS. Now, before she makes any changes, she's going to do a where used search. So she has an idea of possible other files that could be affected by this change. So using relations, she can see that the hand wheel is used in one subassembly below the master hatch. She can then open that right into her modeling session to continue with the changes. Now, the version of the subassembly is already released. So in order to make changes, she can make a new revision of the assembly and the hand wheel. Now the status indicators immediately show that the current assembly structure is out of date with those little plus signs. So she can replace it with the new revisions and set them to be reserved. Reserving files gives Debbie right access to those items she needs to modify without locking anybody else out of the rest of the assembly. We know from the where used information that once the hand wheel design is complete, the drawing needs to be opened and updated as well. So Debbie is able to access this directly from the bookmark that Eric was using as well. Once the drawing is opened, it will sync with the part model and can now be saved as revision B. Debbie will save all those changes and then the revision will occur as she saves back into the platform. Debbie then can set the part and drawing to a frozen state. The frozen state is ready for approval, so it'll give other members of her team the ability to view the changes and make comments or additional feedback. Now returning to the assembly, Debbie finishes out the design by adding the latch mechanisms and saves the new revision back to the cloud. Easy to use data management and lifecycle functions are built into the 3D Experience platform to help you control revisions and user access rights. You can be sure that your design data 
is always going to be up to date and accessible to you from any location with an internet connection. This ability to connect through an internet connection also allows teams to work concurrently on the same design files at the same time. So we're gonna see this process in action. So Eric is working on a new revision of the master hatch assembly. The red icons let him know that Debbie is currently working on that subassembly and is making changes. But Eric can still reserve the top level assembly without affecting any of Debbie's work. This modular approach to access control allows users to design concurrently without accidentally saving over each other's progress. So a short time later, Eric sees a notification that Debbie has finished and the changes are ready for review. All Eric needs to do now is to reload this information from the server so that the latest version will be loaded in his SOLIDWORKS design. Next, he can take a look at the drawing information that Debbie would have added as well, and also change the maturity state to released from the frozen state that Debbie had placed it in. So back in the assembly, Eric attaches the connecting rod mechanisms. He returns to his bookmarks to then update the drawing. Bumping the assembly and drawing to revision B, he'll be ready to save this back into the platform. The revised hatch assembly does require new versions of supporting documents. So again, from his bookmarks tab, Eric can start making these additional edits. He can upload the latest version of the composer file and use the interactive preview to inspect what this latest revision is going to look like, again, directly inside of his SOLIDWORKS task pane. So the cloud data management is built for concurrent design. You'll avoid sharing conflicts and accidental overwrites and always work with the correct and up-to-date data even when working remotely. This will allow the entire team to complete their designs faster and without any downtime if working remotely. The cloud data management enabled the Nemo team to safely store their data, manage changes, and create designs concurrently, and all without leaving their familiar SOLIDWORKS environment. Now, the 3D Experience platform also has an entire web interface that is available to anyone in the organization, even from any device with an internet connection. So all of the information, the same workflows, is going to be available through a web browser, even for non-SOLIDWORKS users. The data management process shown today is baseline functionality in the 3D Experience platform. Now it can be extended and customized to fit individual companies' needs. So MLC CAD Systems offers quick start implementations, even into advanced implementation services to get the platform customized for your team, get processes set up, as well as including administrator and end user training in the platform. The 3D experience offers data management capabilities to SOLIDWORKS users with all the benefits of a cloud connection. These benefits include zero IT, zero infrastructure costs, and allowing remote workforces to connect seamlessly. And here at MLC, we're always here to help you get this information set up and get your team running quickly. So from here, one item that I do want to talk about and elaborate on a little bit is the internet interface design. So this is something that wasn't explicitly shown in the scenarios that we just took a look at. But just to give you an insight into what the interface is going to look like for just a web browser, I can go ahead and show you what my own 3D experience platform is going to look like. So as I log into the 3D Experience platform, this is immediately going into 
the space that my team members and I worked on in order to develop some of the content that you just saw and run through those exact same scenarios and situations. What we're actually looking at here is one tab of what we call an actual, um, just lost what that word was called, a dashboard. I couldn't think of what it was called there for a moment. What I'm really looking at is a way that I can customize my own interface and every user on the platform can customize their interface. Notice here that I have my bookmark editor of all the components that are involved in that Nemo subassembly. Down at the bottom, I have all of my life cycle information. I can change maturity states. And we have that collaboration where I can reserve and then unreserve components as well. Also taking a look, we have our entire collaborative life cycle. We can see exactly where individual files are located. We can see if we need to change them to a different maturity state here as well. And I can also drag components directly into my viewer so that I can view them in 3D space even here on the cloud and make any markups similar to what we saw with the SOLIDWORKS add-in. So this gives you an insight into the possibilities of setting up the 3D experience platform in the web browser. Again, this is my personal dashboard, but it gives you an idea of where these items are located and how someone without SOLIDWORKS can actually view files, change maturity states, and work within the 3D experience platform and collaborate with your design team.